extra, extra, read all about it, review all about it, we've got the new Fenty hair, which means it's time for a first impressions review. The sisters, Mel and Amanda, traveled a very long way, all the way to LA, to get first bids on trying out the new products from Fenty hair. Everybody in this room is gonna, you're gonna be the first people to touch, to feel, and to experience Fenty hair. We even saw Rihanna herself, but don't let that think that's gonna steer us from giving you guys an honest review of these products. We're gonna see how the stylers especially are going to be able to style our hair. Amanda's got longer, coarse hair. I obviously have much shorter, finer texture. I'm very excited. We haven't even smelt these yet. Let's get into the shower and try the first product. Dye your hair red, they said. It'll be fun, they said. So sorry to the hotel. It looks like someone was murdered. I didn't do it. And I wasn't here. But at least try to protect the rope. Fenty hair is all about strengthening. It's strengthen as you style, which honestly I love because I love that. I mean, if we look at Rihanna's track record, she styles her hair a lot. Maybe it's not always her hair. I'm sure, you know, a lot of it's wigs. But in general, there's a lot of manipulation there. And the more you do to your hair, the more you need to repair. This is considered to be the Fenty hair must have. According to them, if you can only pick up one, this is the one because this is the product that has their key hero compilation of ingredients which they are calling Replenicor 5. It's got a compilation of five different ingredients that are packed with antioxidants, amino acids, proteins, what else? Hydrating things, basically a bond repairing type strengthening ingredient. And this ingredients or compilation of ingredients for Replenicor 5 is in every single product within the line. So it's kind of nice that this kind of key ingredient is all throughout the line, but it's extremely potent in this treatment. And it's cool, there's two different ways that we can use this treatment, and we're gonna use it one way on one half of each of our heads. So we can see if this comeback kid can help our curls come back after washing them so much. I just washed yesterday. I know, I just and washed, I actually washed today. And it's like, I'm gonna have to recolor my hair. All the red is fading out. Amanda, when are we just gonna go back to brown? Very soon, I'm getting annoyed with this red. Wait, really? It's like red everywhere, and all the time. And so you're done with it? You're just gonna give up like that? Okay, we need more input. This is really true. This is just, I'm not prepared for this conversation. What do you think we should do? Are we t are we ready for a color correction? I think so. I don't know if I'm ready for a color correction. A color correction? Well, if you want to get rid of the red. I'm gonna have to strip and bleach my hair. No one says strip and bleach. We can make a whole video on that. I digress. Let's come back to this, kid. Okay. Whoa. Let's do it. Okay. My hair is drying. No, 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 no. Let's go. Yeah, it's looking alarming. I need to wet it. I need to wet it. No, no, no. Are you serious? A little bit. Okay, get in the sink. What is cool, I was reading the packaging to figure out how to apply, and there's nothing to read. They have little, you know, they have little pictorials on the back here. So, you know, it's for everybody. Although I, I honestly looked at the pictures and I didn't quite understand. I think the first one, step one, water, but then it's exiting out shampoo, exiting out a bottle with the C, I'm gonna assume is conditioner. I don't know, the, the, it, it's, uh, it's in, but there's also a QR code, so I simply scanned that, and it took us right to the product page. So in both ways that they suggest to use this product, they mention shampooing, and they don't mention conditioner, they just mention applying this. So it's giving, K18. It's giving K18 as in skip your conditioner, apply this right after. We've we, already conditioned we that. We, we yeah. already conditioned. However, I think we're still fine. Yeah. Again, more thoughts on, on that conditioner after. Oh, we didn't say, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything, but did you say something? Oh, yeah, I couldn't talk in the shower. The sound was just not giving. Anyways, we'll talk about the conditioner later. Let's still hope this gives us the repair, reduces breakage, and conditions for smoother, shinier healthier looking styles that we need. Okay, we're gonna only do it on one half of our head or the whole head? Do we put on the whole head and then rinse one half? No. <laughs> I'm not trying to make Two. one side of my head fade faster than the other. Don't be dramatic, it's true. Or maybe one of us doesn't apply this and one of us does. No, we're gonna do half on both. On okay, half on both, shut up. So, put the brush down. Put the brush down. Put the weapon down. Let's go in. I'm gonna take a quarter size amount or so. Less than that. A nickel, a dime, a half a teaspoon. Honestly, like a teaspoon. 
ish. What do you think of the scent? It's nostalgic. What does it remind you of? I've smelled it before too. I don't know what it is. I have to put my finger on it. I don't know. It'll come to us. Do we know the, uh, it looks creamy. Okay, so we're going up with a doll up each. Tired? No. It's quite thick. It's not running down. I don't know what this smell is. It's very, it is very nostalgic, isn't it? For some reason. I don't know what it is. There's a lot of warm florals in there. Very warm florals, which I like. It reminds me of a mature perfume. It's giving like a warmer red door. Red door is not a good thing. Um, and this isn't a bad thing, but it does have like yeah. a mature, yeah, I would say sophisticated that. Yeah. warm floral smell. Yeah, the way it's not sweet at all. Well, maybe a little bit sweet, but it's like definitely on the warmer side. It feels good right now as I'm massaging this in. Yeah. It feels nice. Do we use more or that's enough? Well, you have a lot more hair. Maybe I'm gonna use a little bit more. Just using a little bit more for my longer, thicker hair. And what told you that you need more product? I don't know, I just feel like it feels a little bit naked. You couldn't feel it through your hair. Not entirely. And that's what we want. When you're using a leave-in product, you want to feel it through the hair. But remember, this isn't just a leave-in product. This is a treatment. So this is something that you want to use as needed. That's why it can also be rinsed out. Maybe you don't need as intense of repair. You don't want to leave it in because, I mean, they say they use a hydrolyzed vegetable protein that is resistant to creating over-proteinized hair. That's what I was going to ask you. Like, if all of these products contain proteins, are we going to get protein overload? Exactly. Well, they Rats. say no. Rats. Let's see if there's the moisture to balance all of that out. We are going to find out. Well, now that we have the treatment in, we always want to start with the treatment so it can penetrate the deepest. We're going to start going in with our prep styler. This is the protective type. It's called, it's a five-in-one heat protecting styler. A heat protector! Thank you, Fenty! She Something said Beyonce didn't do Amanda? this. Amanda? We are not pitting two women against each other. I'm just saying. I just wish Beyonce's leave-in treatment had heat protection. Yes. Or at least UV something. I mean, I, I agree. I agree. We're not gonna go there right now. We're focusing saying. on Fenty. Okay. As we were saying. Thank you for the versatility. Five in one. Let's see. We have smooth, detangle, defrizz, hydrate, 450 degree plus heat protection. Love that. We love that. Oh, you fucking idiot. So this is a silicone-free heat protectant. <laughs> yes, okay, let's go. Um, mm, the whole range is silicone-free. They have a bunch of ingredients they've eliminated due to popular demand or popular request. Marketing, okay, we love. She's giving the people what they want besides an album. It's fine, it's good, good. However, God. Silicones are the best types of heat protectants. Okay. So am I a little concerned? Well, let's just try it out, shall we? Let's try it. Straight up, like your OGest friend. That's you, you my OGest. Oh gosh. So it's a universal prep step everyone needs before blow drying. Okay. Silk pressing or diffusing. Diffusing is technically heat styling. It is. If you're using high heat, which we do, we're doing. No shame in that. I'm no sorry, shame I don't have the time. I don't have the time or the patience. And if we want to diffuse, all we have to do is apply a little bit of this before we dry. So we're going to use this, like we said, to prep all over. Do we only want protection on one half? No. no. When it comes to protection, you want Word. You want it all, you want it, you know that. Hurry up, my hair's drying. Okay, 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 okay. Just trying to think of something to rhyme. Anyways, you want it all over, is what I was saying. It's a little bit runnier than the treatment product, but not too much. And it's also a cream. Now, let's talk about this for a second, because this is a line for all hair types. So they say, like, everyone can use it, everyone needs a heat protectant, but I don't know. Let's see if this is going to be too thick for someone with really, really fine hair, right? Like, no, it feels really good. It feels really good? That's really good. For me, but I have really thick hair. Exactly. Because it's a cream, and because, like I said, you want to be very thorough with the heat protectant when you're applying before heat styling. Do you have thin hair? This is going to be, this is going to weigh you down. Yeah. You're going to need something that is more of a spray. Yeah. That you can evenly apply that won't have as much weight. This, um, but for me, it feels nice. It, it feels does really nice. Feel nice. It has you know the what? same, it does still have the same scent. I think the same scent is, long, is within the entire line. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
which is kind of nice. Sometimes I don't like when a line has too many different scents. I, I like the fact that if I do choose to use this line to style, I can use all the same products, it's all the same scent, and then it's really potent. Like, if you're going somewhere and you mm -hmm. just want to, someone, like, you walk by someone, they're like, oh my god, you, your hair smells so good. It's like, thanks. Yeah, just shower. cocktailing can either go really well or really bad. Like, some smells just don't mesh well. Hold on, I have to wet my hair down a bit. I'm doing that by wetting the brush and then couldn't bring your own detangling brush, but you know. We are using the unbrush that I brought. Really? I brought everything else. Who brought the diffuser? I didn't have it. You did. I could just say right now, this, I might have put too much product on this. Or oh. is that the side that we have the treatment in? Yeah. Okay. It feels... Well, why like, don't you scrape some out? I think I need to scrape some out because it feels like... I already feel it like weighing down. Mm-hmm. Like my hair feels heavy on this side. All right, remove. We must always account for a little bit of user error. How does your hair feel? Fine. I'm not an animal. So did I apply the treatment on? This one. I did? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I did this one. We did different sides. God, that's annoying. <laughs> we didn't realize. Okay, honestly, if the towel gets, if the robe gets red, I don't care. I'm getting really hot. You're trying to protect the robe? That's so thoughtful of you. She's having a hot flash. I'm perfectly calm, cool, and collected. I need water. I need water. Let's do that. I also need water. Can you hear me? Can you hear it? We already left, so we're staying at the Pendry West Hollywood. A sleigh. All right, moving on. All right, now that we have treated, protected, it is time to define. We have the Home Pearl Curl Defining Cream, which is in this tub with this very satisfying lid, actually. All of the products have their own unique cap, depending on the range or the type of product that they are, and that's just giving accessibility, because if you cannot read, you can feel for the type of product that you need. Rihanna is always there with the inclusivity, thinking of every single thing. We love that. That's so cool, super cute, and also really fun as an ASMR moment. But besides that, let's see how these will define the curls, shall we? This feels heavy, man. Use an arrow. Use an arrow. Well, this is supposed to give us humidity protection. Okay. So we have to layer on this other product now. We want all of the things. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, I like how it opened. Ooh. Does this have the same smell? Yeah. It does smell more citrusy. That has like a, a little detergent smell to it. That's what it smells like. It smells like those unstoppable pods. We'll have to cross check once we get home. <laughs> once we get home and do laundry. I've got a lot of laundry. I'm gonna do a quick finger dip. It's not runny, it's got this like gooey it's like stringiness. A gooey. It's like that uh, viral Amazon serum that's like the snail mucin. Yeah, well, the <laughs> it feels nice. It's very silky. It feels really nice. Well, can you shut up so I can gather my own thoughts? I'm just telling you what I think. Well, keep your freaking thoughts to yourself right now. They're here for my review as well. For you. I'm overstimulated, please. There's so many things going on. Yes. It feels really good. <sighs> Fine, I'll say it. This is what I wanted from the conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I wanted from the conditioner. Like, and the conditioner didn't have made much slip at all. Yeah, it didn't give me that silky vibe. No, the, the conditioner, is... I put it on and I was like, this does not make me want to leave this in my shower. Mm. Like it's just okay, you know what I mean? It was yeah, I didn't leave my hair feeling so. Anyways, but we'll talk more about it after. But this yeah. is this is feeling yeah, really silky. Feeling silky. I'm gonna use nice. my brush to define I'm using the bounce curl brush. And I also brought my bounce curl brush with me, Mrs. I packed everything. I packed the things that I need. Okay, I packed this for both of us. I packed this for me. I'm not sharing. Amanda, that section was way too big. No, it wasn't. Okay, well the back. You have no come. idea. The the back. Was it like God? Your brush is all pink. This is why we can't share brushes yeah. because <sighs> couldn't ruin my blonde hair. You could ruin blonde hair. Yeah, so that's why I'm not sharing brushes. That's why every time you come over and use mine, I have to give it a deep clean. Well, I just used the um brush. Yeah, but we were rinsing it. This one's got the boar bristles. It holds on to the product a lot more. I digress. Shut up! <laughs> I'm not saying anything. It's you. Why are we talking? So you much? Have me. I didn't say anything. I literally have not talked this entire time. I'm talking to myself. I keep talking to myself. I'm talking so much that I'm telling myself to shut the fuck up. Just, anyways. My break is one. Oh shit, me. The ringlets are looking amazing. Yeah, my ringlets are ringletting. 
Look at that. Whoa. Well, did you see Riri's hair last night? It was really, really. Riri came out to the Fenty launch party event with her natural coils on display, and they were absolutely giving. I feel like I've never really noticed her natural hair. Like I've never seen her really wear her natural curls and they were stunning. They, they were, were really so defined. beautiful. Even from far away, like the far away images that I got of her, you can see how defined her hair is. The shine just absolutely bounced off of every curl and her hair was blonde. I hope she influences people to cut their hair short and go blonde. I love it. She has always been a trendsetter. Her and her Aries Venus. I am an Aries Venus like Rihanna. Oh yeah? yeah? You're a trendsetter? Is that why we have to change your hair again soon? To give people what they want? Yeah. New inspo? Okay, maybe next season. After the summer. No, I'm not being red all summer. Okay, well. First impressions, I feel like a little bit of this cream goes a long way. Well, I haven't applied any more than my little finger did. I hope I've applied enough, but I already have other stylers I have been literally just touching the lid and putting that much. Yeah. Like Mel said, I feel like this cream is very potent. Like a little bit really does go a long way, which is nice. Which is nice. We love that. And my curls are... Looking really good already wet. No, they actually are. So they're really, you can just tell. Yeah, like while you're styling, they're, how they're springing up. My look hair. Look at how spirally my hair looks right now. Listen, Amanda's re wet her hair about 17 times throughout this entire process. I have not at all whatsoever. I am very much a damp styler, and sometimes I let it go too damp, and then the curls, they don't bounce up as much because they're already starting to set dry, stretched. You know, like the hair needs to be wet if I want it to get that good bounce back to it but this first of all it's holding on to its moisture well and two i can really see the curls defining and bouncing really nicely yeah as you can see amanda's applying a lot more product than me but I this is less don't... product than i normally apply actually the way they're fucking bouncing i'm not even joking i can really see it already I am predicting a lot of shrinkage here. So now that we've defined our hairs, the last thing we have to apply here is the Jelly Type Stronghold Gel. However, this is actually made to be a slicking type of gel. Oh, this is really? for those slick back styles. Oh. Maybe a wet look type of vibe as well. Oh no, my nails went pink. It looks cute, I like it. Apparently, if you do want to snatch this up, it says straight up, it's for slick and snatch and styles. It's a high performance stronghold gel that gives ultimate style control for high ponies, top knots, slick backs, but with Replenicore 5's proteins and amino acids to help repair your hair and prevent split ends while you are doing those slick back styles. Let's get into the texture of it and see if we can scrunch some of it in for a little bit of extra hold. Can you see that consistency? We're gonna see how versatile this product is and see if we can use it on our curls. I'm just gonna scrunch this in. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna disperse it on my hands and then use it to scrunch on these wet hairs. Well, let's hope this gives us the stronghold that we do need. Okay, the curls look amazing. They're not even dry yet. You know when, when you, you know, know, you know. When you're nor, you nor. When you're nor, you nor. If you've been styling your curly hair for a long time, and, you've, and especially if you've got your routine down, you can tell when it's going to be good and when it's going to not be good. You can absolutely tell. And I can tell this is going to be good. But, well... We need to first diffuse. And then we need to see how it's going to last. So of course, keep watching. We are going to give you updates throughout the week. Okay, and we're back. And I feel crunchy. I don't really feel crunchy. I don't feel overly crunchy. No, I feel like there's hold. But, but not. also, the hair is extremely moisturized. Extremely moisturized. Not only just to the touch, but to the point that it wouldn't dry. It was taking for ever for my hair to dry it easily took probably like double or more yeah. than it usually takes because we we're using the same dryer we always do we're using our dyson which is very fast but when your hair is extremely moisturized and you layer on a bunch of creams you're gonna one not get as strong of a cast and then two it's gonna take forever to dry so i think that could impact why the hold like i actually still feel a hold which yeah. shows that it is quite strong 
and that's not a bad thing i think i think that has to do a lot with again user error or like just trying things for the first time mm -hmm. i definitely don't think i would use as much product the next time because i feel like these products are very potent mm -hmm. like i think a little goes a long way but the curls look great uh, the curls look great let's fluff them out a little bit we're not going to use an oil today because no. while well, our hair has a lot of creams in it and i also want to see if it's going to flake we're also going to be traveling all day tomorrow so it'll be really interesting to see how well our hair holds up i'm excited to see how moisturized it stays because right now we are in la it is typically more dry here then we're going to be flying we've got a long flight home which is going to dry up the hair a little bit more and yeah. then we're entering humidity when we're home so it's going to be going through a lot yeah it's going to be a very interesting test but let's see fla, fla, fla. the day one zero results and in terms of the curls on the side where i applied the treatment versus where i didn't apply the treatment uh i don't know do you notice the difference in my hair no i think we'll have to see how the hair feels over the next few days yeah. but considering We've got a lot of protein throughout this entire routine. My hair doesn't feel dry, because that can happen when your hair is over proteinized. So, so yeah. far, this is a good sign. This so is a far, good, good sign. Let me see, I don't even know what I look like. We're gonna go get in some wear time and be back with a wear test. So we're just documenting that at the end of day one, feeling a little flat because of all the moisture. We yeah. presume, just to note, that's, that's it. That's all. It's how I feel. It's my truth. It does smell really good though. Meta likes the smell. I think it's nice. Let's see how long it lasts. Today, we're back home and now we're on day three. My sides here are a little stretched, partly because of the way I had my hair up on the plane, but I also just, I didn't feel like I slept with the hair right. I didn't do anything different, but this hair just didn't, I don't know, it didn't look good when I woke up. So let's see if we can refresh it very simply with some steam. This is always a great way to see, one, how the hair or products will behave in humidity, but also most importantly, just if I can actually refresh this hair without adding too much more product. What we will test here is the jelly type for slicking. I'm gonna put my hair on a hairstyle because I have another event to go to and I'm thinking of doing a slick back half up do. But first, while the steamer is steaming, let's wake up this hair. So it looks like wonky and slept on and considering there are so many hydrolyzed proteins in these products, I was expecting a little bit more curl resiliency. It's not bad, but it's not my best. Now I'm literally just letting the steam absorb into my hair, shake it, scrunch it a little bit. I see the shape coming back. Mm, and considering all the traveling that we did yesterday, I was outside a lot, my hair still smells delicious. So it seems like the smell, the fragrance is pretty long lasting so far. That's either a pro or a con depending on how you look at it. Okay, let me see. Steam away. Okay, I mean that was a lot of moisture, a lot of humidity right now, and the hair is not frizzy. So that is a fire sign, Miss Rihanna. She is an island gal. She does need the hair to look good even in humidity, and that was pretty impressive, not gonna lie. I, I, was, I stood there for a while. And the hair, I feel like actually it might have refreshed it a little bit, but these pieces are still hanging too low for my liking. Yeah, I can s th that did really well in all that steam. That did really well. Regardless, I'm still going to slick it back. So this is my very quick three-step slick, okay? We want a little bit of a bang out. I feel like this little triangle section will do. And step one is you comb it back with your fingers just to redirect the roots. Now I'll take a little bit of water and a paddle brush or a wide tooth comb. If there's any bumps, you wanna take a tail comb, even thinner than this. You might want like a metal tail comb just to help slide up and smooth out all those bumps. You stick it in the roots, slide it back. Now I'm gonna take some of the gel, just a small amount. Very interesting. 72 hour update. I went for a five mile walk today 
and my hair again has been up in a pineapple. I'm finally going to refresh my hair with an oil, but this is what the curls look like without any refreshes the last few days. And I think tomorrow I will do a style testing out the gel, but so far my hair still feels really nice and my hair has yet to feel dry. It still feels really nice. My day three results, after refreshing with a little bit of hair oil, I also pinned my hair up a little bit because my bangs have been kind of distorted. So considering all those things, my hair still looks and feels really good. Day four, here's what we're looking like. Again, I refreshed with an oil and then I styled my hair using the Strong Hold Gel. And it still looks and feels really good. I think I'll go another day without washing. This is disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. We used the Fenty gel good. yesterday, it smells good, but the ends don't still smell good. But smell my hair, still smells good. Day three, and like it's it's there, like give me a hug. Yeah, like you can smell like it. Like you can smell it, I actually really like that. And the more we've used the products, the more, the more like they've it. grown I'm on I'm kind of like craving the smell, it's weird. That is weird, that is weird. It's weird. But yeah, no, I actually, I quite like the smell and I like, that it's giving me this longevity, even though we have been outside. Ah, what I fucking step on? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fancy hair is here. I think. Hopefully. No, if it's not, hold on. Who's a two? Who's a two? That's me. That's me. Please, please be it. Please, please be it. Okay. It's not shower you smell so bad <laughs> a new era of repair oh these things are heavy <laughs> this is like a hundred pounds <laughs> holy shit for some reason this smells a little bit sweeter than the rest of the styling products which i actually kind of like it does feel really silky and considering i do have a lot of product in my hair it's actually setting up on the first shampoo really well, which is not typical for me, especially after a week of lots of styling and product. This, exact, this is exactly what I want in a moisturizing shampoo. It applies to the hair really well. I almost feel like I can detangle my hair. It feels very, very silky. Love the smell. Suds up and distributes very easily, even on my thick hair. It's very hard to impress me with wash products. And, and although the conditioner didn't impress me much, I'm liking the shampoo. And I can definitely see myself leaving it in the shower, specifically for the scent. The scent is amazing. My hair feels clean is the best way to describe it. I don't feel like it's moisturized, but it definitely doesn't feel stripped. It simply just feels clean where my roots don't feel heavy. I don't feel any more of that product left on my hair. It feels perfectly primed for the deep conditioner, which we are gonna try now. Hopefully this is better than the conditioner. My hair ate that up. This slippery, silky feeling and the way that my hair is absorbing the moisture in this deep conditioner is exactly what I was lacking in the conditioner. So, so far it feels really good. Let's see how well it detangles. Mind you, this makes detangling really easy, but, but this deep conditioner has really nice slip. My thick hair definitely really likes this. It doesn't really say how long it is recommended to leave this on. I'm only seeing these images here with instructions that say to apply it onto wet hair and then rinse. So I'm gonna scan this QR code and see if I get any more details. Okay, even on their website, it doesn't recommend a certain amount of time to leave this in the hair. So I'm just gonna leave this in for a couple more minutes and rinse and then I'll let you know how my hair feels when I'm out of the shower. So I just tried the shampoo and the deep conditioner and I loved both. Really? Yeah, so how does my hair feel? Yeah, it feels nice. It feels very soft. It feels, it feels very, very soft. soft. Feel my roots. You know, feel nice and clean. Yeah, your hair feels clean, feels soft. How was the bleeding? Normal. Okay, normal. Okay. Did it seem like you lost all of your hair color? No. Looks all right. You know what's so interesting? Considering there's so many proteins throughout the entire line, it is still very softening. Yes, it which just, I love. It feels very soft. It does feel very conditioned right now. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do a little style. Yeah, we're going to try some more products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see how it comes out. This is really going to be our only cream right now. Okay. So I wanted to go in with a good little hefty amount. I'm so curious. So the gel, the gel, 
we're going to try using the gel in another unconventional way because yeah. I do want to make sure that we are going to get a lot of use out of this. And the thing is with our hair, especially me, it's very easy to slick. Like I can slick my hair with just water really and any styling product. I don't need a stronghold gel and even using this stronghold gel, it doesn't feel like a stronghold gel. So we want to put it to the test and see how strong it can hold hair without feeling crunchy well we're just gonna see what the result is yeah no i know but my whole on. point is i've noticed that i've used it a few times now to slick back my hair and it does a very nice job it gives like that shiny texture to the hair so it looks slick mm -hmm. but when i remove the style it, my hair is still very manageable like without my roots looking greasy or wherever the uh, product was actually applied, which is very interesting to me and not something that I typically experience with a stronghold gel, especially one that I'm using to slick back my hair. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's actually, I find it a good thing. Okay, okay. Now that the hair is completely dry, this cast right here, based on feeling, yeah, it's a very hold. soft, touchable hold. Yeah. Now. Since we did feel, do, we'll not say hold, feel. Yeah, we have to see how this is going to live out for Amanda. Mm -hmm. But considering that's the only product that's really in her hair right now, I do really like the finish. I don't think it's too shiny. Like, I don't know if I would use it again for a wet look. It's not giving me the wet look sheen that I wanted, but it does have like a nice satin finish. It does look good and it feels nice, right? Like, it feels very soft. It, at least it doesn't feel crunchy, you know. Gross. So. Or dry at all. It feels very moisturized. I think she likes that aspect. So, okay, a win is a win so far. Final thoughts? Coming soon.